So, so this happened. Just got myself a 2021 Road Glide CVO. So this is my new 2021 Road Glide CVO. Man, this thing is nice. It's a very, very heavy bike compared to the Lowrider S, but man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this bike. It's, it's really heavy compared to anything else that I've had before. Uh, if, I, if I thought the Lowrider S was heavy, man, this thing is doubles it. I think it's around uh, 800 pounds, eight, 900 pounds or something like that. But man, I think this is, this is like the Cadillac or Lamborghini of Harley Davidson's. It's got everything. It's got sound system upgraded to Rockford Fosgate. It's got the screen. I mean, this is dope. Uh, first impressions coming from smaller bikes is yes bike is a little intimidating at first but you know once once you get going uh, you don't really feel the the weight on the bike it's it just picks up uh, of course you know handling it from a stop sign or stoplight uh, it is kind of it was kind of intimidating for me at the beginning uh, just because I was scared of dropping it. Because, um, you know, I've heard some stories. Oh, you know, heavy bike. You're going to drop it. If, it's like, man, no. I mean, if you got the right technique, I think. If you've been riding for a while, I think this bike is just... Man, it's, it's a nice bike. Um, first impressions for a... For my heaviest bike that I've ever ridden is it's it's really awesome. I mean I think this is the bike to go on longer rides. Really comfortable, it's like a gliding couch, if I can put it into words. Super smooth, has the power super comfortable damn stupid chick you gotta be careful out there guys man there's some people just <laughs> just no regards whatsoever for bike riders man uh, but anyways going back to the bike this is and I'm I'm pretty stoked on this thing, man. It's I really never thought I I never saw myself or thought I I would ever get a really big 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 bike just because I'm really used to more nimble, more pickup stuff. But you know I think as I get older, you know I sort of realize I, I I need something more relaxed, something more like this. This is just perfect. Uh, what else can I say about it? It's it's a CVO, a uh, really expensive bike. Uh, is it worth it? In my opinion, I mean I don't know if you really have the money to cough up the extra. What is it? Fifteen grand versus the Road Glide Special. You know, I've heard some people say you know you got the CVO. You got bragging rights, whatever. I mean, to me, that's really not that important. To me, it's more my personal personal feelings, how I feel about the bike in general, you know? And honestly, do I regret buying a $45,000 bike? No. I think I'm going to enjoy this bike for a long time. Uh, yes, it's the CVO. And... Some people might say, well, you know, you could have done a lot more to the bike or a lot more to Road Glide Special. You would have saved a lot of money. Yeah, but, you know, it's a CVO. What can I say? 
Uh, it's the best of the best bikes that money can buy. Um, there's a reason for it too, right? It's got the upgraded stuff on it. Um, got the badging. Uh, honestly, I'm not gonna get too technical into this because I really don't know much about the bike. All I know is it's got the 117 engine in it versus the 114. Uh, it's already come with fairings. Um, nine, 21 inch front wheel, I believe, as opposed to the 19 that the Road Life Special comes with. Uh, Rockford Fosgay upgraded, speakers in the bags, badging. This, this thing is cool. Uh, yeah, pretty stoked on it. I, I see myself taking a lot of trips, a lot of long trips in this thing pretty comfortable I think I'm I'm really I'm really stoked on it never saw myself spending this much money on a bike but you know here I am forty five thousand dollars later so I don't know what you guys think about the bike let me know in the comments Bike has power. I mean, it's a heavy bike, but it still picks up. It's got a big engine in it, so who would be surprised? I don't know if a lot of people that buy CVOs are actually upgrading stuff on it, you know, because in my opinion, what's the point of getting a custom Harley for 45 grand if you still need to need to put some more money into it. I think the only thing I'm going to do to it is some bars. Some 14 inch bars. I don't know what you guys are putting on it. I think that's that's the only upgrade that I would do to this Road Glide CVO. It, I mean it has everything else. Uh, probably a taller windscreen. I don't know I, I I don't I don't feel I don't feel the need for it I've actually been on the freeway over 80 miles an hour and I just don't feel like it like it's necessary I mean I think it would really make a difference but as of right now I think the only upgrade that I would do to it would be the 14 inch bars um, you know maybe down down the road I would do something else but as of now I think I've spent enough just buying the bike itself Woo. damn yeah it's got some juice So what do you guys think? Is the CVO really worth the, the price tag? Or is it just an overpriced bike? And I know a lot of people have gone for just a regular Road Glide Special, which comes in around, what, 28, 29,000, something like that. Uh, but do you guys really think that the CVO badging and all the other stuff that this bike comes with as opposed to the Road Glide Special is really worth the price tag? I don't know let me know i think it is I think it's worth it you're not just paying for whatever parts are installed i think you're paying more for the name the badging bragging rights whatever you want to call it so far so good it's like driving a high-end exotic car I think because I've written a, a road light special I actually test drove a road light special 
and I don't know this thing just CVO is just uh, like I said it feels like you're riding uh, or driving a exotic car like if you're riding Ferrari or Lambo or something like that you know just just has that that feeling <clears throat> pretty happy about the bike uh, one of my friends said it was the <laughs> biggest mistake I've ever made buying this bike I guess for him it was not worth the price tag but hey to each his own you know it's my bike I really love the CVO and I'm in love I think this is the is a keeper for sure